I'm going to do something a little bit different this morning. I normally don't do how-tos or tutorials or things like that because I frankly don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so you probably shouldn't really listen to me, except in this case, one thing I definitely do know how to do is update firmware for the various modules that I do have that get updates from their developers. And today's gift to the world is a final firmware update from Mutable Instruments for the Plates module, or PLATS as the rest of the world calls it. This update is not just a simple update to fix some bugs. There's actually a major thing that happened. I won't go into too much demonstration of that because there's already a smattering of videos out there that do that. But the thing I wanted to show today is the uh, how I update my firmwares usually, especially if it's a if the firmware requires a like playing back a wave file from a computer, the computer's way across the room over there. And I managed to find a video by, again, Cinematic Laboratories, thank you, are showing us how to use something like a, like a wave sampler or a wave playback device. And in my case, I have BitBox here. BitBox out to any of the wave inputs for firmware updates, and that's it. You don't need a computer, and you've got this wonderful little playback device right here in your rack. So here's the trend that I do notice about new things on when new things get released. The first thing everybody does is make a sound demo. But nobody really wants to show you how to actually update the firmware. And that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing I have to do is, at least in this particular device, and it would probably be the same if it was disting or anything that plays back audio, uh, is come here and pluck out the, uh, the little micro SD card. So you take this little guy over here, you do have to walk this over to your computer and you do have to put a file on it. So that means sticking this guy in your computer, getting the WAV file or files if you're gonna do multiple firmware updates that day, drop them in a folder or whatever, and then stick that back in to, uh, in this case, BitBox. And then we power up. And I picked a preset that has the least amount of junk on it because here's what I have to do. I have to go into the, uh, the, the sound. I have to come to the file selector, go up. I see how I made a folder because I'm organized. And in it, I'm putting what I believe is gonna be the Platts firmware update. So I just highlight it and hit load. And this is a pretty long file. It's about three minutes of audio. So it will load and you'll see it, the, the progress go along here. All right, so that's done. Now, using BitBox might be a little bit more cumbersome or difficult than disting because there's there's a lot of settings that I had to f I found I had to go mess with here, and that is things like level or pitch. You don't want to pitch adjust your your firmware wave file, um, but level I'm I'm finding at least on BitBox with this particular uh, update I had to set it at about negative twenty dB level so that way it wasn't too loud. Uh, coming coming out of the box here. Uh, but another thing is you don't really want any any attack decay or release. Just leave it 100% sustain, and I think everything else is okay here. Uh, but here's one more thing to change. It's a mono sound, so you do have to make sure it's mono. You have to, I'm sending it only out of out one, so we want to select just out one. One more thing we should probably look at is to make sure that it is in triggered mode, so it's not in a, in a loop or anything. Uh, I want to make sure that's that's all also set. So that's all you have to do to set that up. Then you take an out from whatever your audio source is, and in my case, BitBox out one. And the other end of the cable, you plug into the model jack on on plates, plats. And then when you turn on your rack, you're holding this left button down. Can you see that okay? And it just puts it into a kind of a bootloader mode. So right now, this is ready to receive the update. At this point, I'm just, I'm just going to tap this and start playing back that audio. And you can see down here, uh, the top LED, the top four LEDs is kind of like the level volume. And you can see it's at a reasonable level. Everything's green. The bottom four are the progress as it's, as it's loading the, the firmware. So this is going to take about three minutes to do, so uh, to waste some time, I will just talk about what the updates are to this. And the, the most significant thing that everybody is losing their minds about in a wonderful way is 
uh, Mutable Instruments has added an entire new bank of eight more sound s sound synthesis engines. So you know how we have the green, we have the red, and now there's an, an amber or an orange. So another entire bank of eight. And on top of that, uh, banks one and two are, are just uh, additional synthesis engines. Uh, banks three, four, and five are specifically DX7 engines with the whole six operator, blah, blah, blah. There's plenty of videos on, online already to talk about that, so just go see those. I'll, I'll link a couple of them in the, in the description below because I don't want to go through 96 patches. Oh, so that's the thing. Let's say you select bank three, orange three, and you use this harmonics knob here to pick 32 different, different programs or, or patches. It's an entire bank of DX7. Like, you know, re if you remember, let's, let's put a picture of my DX7 here. DX7 has 32 slots uh, of, so of sounds you can store, and so can banks three, four, and five. That's 96 DX7 sounds that you can... St that kind of just blew my mind. That's the reason I'm making this video, not because I'm good at how-tos or tutorials or have anything to teach you that is that hasn't already been taught by somebody else. This is just me, because I'm a big fan of my DX7. I love it. You know, I'm, I'm old. I love the DX7. A lot of people shit all over it today, but it is a, such a great, iconic instrument. And my particular DX7 is actually in its death throes. It's now f almost 40 years old, and... Definitely showing her age. So back to the update. You can see here now on the on the on the Bitbox camera. We're at the end. I have managed to talk for three minutes. Sorry about that. And the WAV file is about to be finished playing. And when it is, uh, the the plates plats module will will reset and we'll be ready to go. If everything went according to plan. And there we go. We are now in this this beautiful new mode. So there's a couple of interesting things that I did that did change as far as even the functionality of the panel. And that is in order to go into these new modes, uh, cause you know, you used to have the left button was the green side. The right button was the red side. Well, now the right button is down and the green button is up. And the reason for that is because there's a third bank added now so how would you get to it if you had if you only had two buttons so the idea is you just keep going down until you get past your percussive stuff and into the orange mode and there it is